Okay, in the next problem we have another graph of F consisting of a semicircle and two line segments. And we have the graph G, which is the function given by G of X is the integral from 0 to X of F of T dt. The first thing we want to do is find G of 3. And so by definition, G of 3 is equal to the integral from 0 to 3 of f of x dx. And we'll just do this uh, using geometric shapes. We have a quarter of a circle, or half of a semicircle, with radius 2. So if area of a circle with radius 2 is pi r squared, pi times 2 squared, and we want one quarter of that, so that's going to turn out to be just pi. Then after that, we have a piece of area that is below the x-axis that has a width of 1 and a height of negative 1. And so that is going to be negative 1 half. And so g of 3 is going to be pi minus 1 half. For part b, we want to find all values of x at which g has a relative maximum. And g of x will have a relative maximum whenever g prime of x changes from positive to zero to negative. Now by definition, g prime of x is the derivative <coughs> of the integral from 0 to x of f of t dt, which by the second part of the fundamental theorem of calculus is just f of x. And f of x changes from positive to negative only at x equals 2. In part c, we want to write an equation for the line tangent to the graph of g at x equals 3. So for this, we need two things. We need g prime of 3, and that will be the slope of the tangent line. And we need g of 3. We've already shown that g of 3 is equal to pi minus 1 half. So we get y minus y1, and y1 is just g of 3, which is pi minus 1 half. And that's equal to m which is g prime of 3. And since g prime of 3 is really equal to f of 3, g prime of 3 is equal to negative 1. And x sub 1 is equal to 3 there. So we have y minus pi, the quantity pi minus 1 half is equal to negative 1 times x minus 3. If we simplify a little and solve for y, and I believe we end up with y is equal to negative x plus pi minus 5 halves. So that's for part c. Finally, for part D, we want to find the x-coordinate of each point of inflection of g on the open interval from negative 2 to 5. All right, so, so we know that g of x will have a point of inflection whenever g prime prime of x changes sign. But since we've already established that g prime of x is f of x, then g prime prime of x is f prime of x. And f prime of x, which is the slope of the f function, it changes sign at x equals 0, where it changes from a positive slope to a negative slope, and at x equals 3, when it changes from a negative slope to a positive slope. Now at x equals 2, uh, the slope changes, but it's still decreasing both to the left and to the right. So only at x equals 0 and x equals 3, would we have a point of inflection in the graph of G?